In my opinion, this is the best lens to start with, even better than starting with the 50mm. Let's find out. The first reason is the space. Guys, um, for the majority of the creators, they are using full frame cameras. So when they are using a 50mm, it will be 50. But in crop sensor cameras with the, I'm not saying that all, but a lot of people when they are starting out, they start with crop sensor cameras. And 50mm on a crop sensor camera will be 80mm. And 80mm, especially on tight places like rooms or this kind of places, it is not convenient as it will need, uh, you will need uh, space between you and the camera so you can get a somehow good image. But with the 35 on a crop sensor camera, it will be almost 56 and 56 is almost good. It is not too wide and it is not too tight or close. And it is good and actually you can get a good image. Uh, without having the camera so far from you. The second thing that I really love about this lens, which is the Young Nuo, I hope that I say that right, the Young Nuo 35mm, which is, is a full, it's a full frame EF lens. Uh, what does that mean? It means a lot of things. First of all, uh, if you are upgrading your camera anytime in the future, you can take this 35 and just put it on the full frame camera and that's it. But if you buy um, a 35 for crop sensor camera when you brought it over to the full frame camera you will have to crop in and of course a lot of things going on no need to do that if you can just buy this camera put it on a crop sensor if you are upgrading to a full frame tada you are also good to go and also in my in my camera that i use right now which is the m50 but with the viltrox speed booster uh, now my camera acts as it's not acts it is now a full frame camera. Um, oh, 90% a full frame camera. Um, it will work good. But if I put the 35 on my seven, Canon 700D, as you can see here, yeah, here, it will work as 56. And that's just absolutely beautiful. In the crop sensor, it will be 56. On my Canon M50 now with the Viltrox Speed Booster, uh, full frame, it will be 39. So almost 35, now I have two lenses instead of one lens. But the thing is, because it's a full frame lens, if it was a crop sensor lens on the M50, it will not show um, in the full screen in a good way. It will have problems and I have to crop in so the lens can be easy to work with. And I will show you on the screen example of that, that if you use a crop uh, sensor, uh, lens on a full frame camera there's a lot of consequences another thing that of course for the people that can say yeah, okay we can use the kit lens you can use the kit lens but especially in in, in this kind of places like your room or your home in or in any uh, low light condition the kit lens it is not I'm not saying it's not usable but it's not the good option to work with. But when you work with the Young Nuo 35, it's actually the aperture of the Young Nuo is F2. And it's not the best in low light, but it will get a ton of light, especially when, with crop sensor cameras. It will give it the brief, let's say it's the light, yeah. It will give more light to work with uh, in a better way. And um, that's actually good because crop sensor cameras, the majority of the crop sensor cameras will not work good in low light. Let's get to the next point, autofocus. This lens has autofocus. And actually let's put it in pros and cons so the image will be clear to you. First of all, uh, it can focus easily and uh, uh, stepping focus or the breathing uh, focus between two objects, it is good and uh, smooth. And that's actually what I like about it. And now the manual focus ring. Actually, it's small and uh, it's not that good in, um, in manual focus. But actually, it can get the job done as it's a sticky rubber. And you can easily put your finger on it and change the focus. The cons about this lens focusing, which is the noise. Guys, this lens is noisy. Can you hear that? Of course you can hear it. But the thing is, 
um, if you are using it for somehow vlogging with it or for any purpose make sure that the mic is far from the camera and it will not pick it up or even if it picks it up it will not be that big of a deal but if you are working with the camera close to you it is not good but of course you can use manual focus depends on your workflow now let's talk about the price about the money and for me uh, this lens cost 100 to 130 dollars uh, depends on a lot of things but yeah this is the price range of it and for me finding a lens that is full frame with a 35 mm full frame uh, lens and f2 the aperture guys it's, it's so hard to beat this lens especially the fact that it has autofocus and manual focus is great and everything and for cinema work for making sure that 100% that you are getting the, sh uh, the shot in a lot of conditions yes but sometimes you want a good autofocus and an autofocus that you can depend on and 35 if you have the space now let's wrap it up let's say that you have a crop sensor camera uh, this 35 would be uh, 56 so it will cover a lot of purposes if if this is the only lens that you have or the second lens after the kit lens the second thing which is the low light capability and of course the links for the lens are in the description below by the way uh, the links down there is affiliate uh, links um, and if you want to buy the lens um, with the links below it will be at no more cost at you but with a small commission and as I always say see it as a vision that you live in every day not as a dream that you wake out of see ya